Okay, so um, this is a, a, a really quick clip from an upcoming video that's that should be coming out anytime uh, soon. Basically, this character pulls out a knife, but my ref my shorts are being reflected in the buckles and in the knife um, and stuff, and that shouldn't be there. So that's something that I need to take care of because um, just to, just for a little bit more realism, because there shouldn't be anything red in front of him like that. Uh, I apologise for my cold right now, by the way. <laughs> um, but I'm just, I just want to say a few things before I start this. This is definitely not the best way to get rid of reflections. Um, this is just the way I did it. I thought I'd do a tutorial on it. And it's um, a pr pretty much a ideal scenario for, for getting rid of ref reflection because um, you'll understand why when I start doing this. But there's basically him that the knife is black and silver and his clothes are black and um, there's, there's no colour in anything else. Um, not that that should really matter too much but it, um, if, there was, if there was to be other colours in shot, say if he was wearing blue jeans or um, or something else, it, it would have, it, it probably would have affected it a little bit but um, it's not too obviously he's wearing a green shirt, but that doesn't mean too much. And he's got red in his hand, so what we need to do is also n worry about not taking out any of the red from his hand. But what you what you first want to do is uh, I'm going to come to a point where it's all in view. So there you go. So you want to duplicate the footage, and what you want to you just want to start cutting out um, around. The, the bits and pieces where there's red, and I'd I'd keep it so um, that you're that, that you're focusing each mask on it on a different piece. Like even though this bit comes into that that mask, it probably won't stay there. So just do a second mask for this one as well. Just um, make sure you get a mask for every. Well, they'll probably stay together since they're connected, so that can be one. Um, so you want to really just get everything like that, so um, when it all starts moving around, you're not having to try and pull the mask um, to everything. So first of all, I've cut, I've put the mask on like that. You want to go through and animate it frame by frame. So so you want to take the mask and just make sure it is animated around everything that is um, moving in the uh, in the shot. Okay, so as you can see, I've gone through everything and I've covered up everything that's red in the shots already. So the the masks are the masks are animating around everything and then cutting out around his finger because you don't want to lose any of the red from his finger. Um, and then what you want to do is. You want to go to the to the shot to the clip with the um, with the masks on. You want to go hue and saturation. Drop that on there, and then it's it's as simple as this uh, for this effect. You want to go to reds, and then you want to go desaturate all the way. So now basically anything that's that's red is going to be black and white, which obviously in this scenario is really good. Um, so that's taken all the red out of there, which um, like I said, it's a really simple effect. But um, and it can't be used on every reflection removal. Um, so this is gonna this is probably gonna be called very simple uh, reflection removal. Um, but I mean it worked, so maybe you can use this technique because maybe sometimes you might think it's a lot harder to get rid of the reflection than it actually is because this ended up being really easy. So um, if it was useful at all. Please hit the like button, um, subscribe for more tutorials, and subscribe to my main channel um, to see my proper videos, not my tutorials. And uh, if you have any ideas for tutorials, just let me know, and I'll uh, and I'll get round to them if I can figure it out. Cheers.